Hello and welcome back. Today I've got a different kind of video I have bought. These are 200 silver pre-decimal coins. Um, so I'm kind of excited to get into them and, and have a look at them. I paid quite a bit over silver uh, spot value for them, but um, I did. there was a really awesome lot with loads of variants of silver pre-decimal coins in them, uh, which uh, ended up going for a stupid amount of money and I chickened out. So I thought this one was going for quite a bit cheaper. Uh, it was still fairly expensive but I thought I'd see how the how the videos go if you like the kind of this kind of video let me know and I'll potentially do one sometime in the future um so let, well before I ramble anymore should we have a look at the have a quick look at the coins I'm unsure as of yet how I'm going to record this video but we'll have a crack at it mm, there we go so we got something Wrapped up in here. So we get the scissors out. More cello tape. There we go. That ting 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 of little silver coins and that tingle tingle of silver coins is very cool so now I think some of them are 50 percenters I don't know if there's any full silver content ones oh, we've got some three pences as well I can see equally I do also have these three that I bought for the CoinTuber eBay challenge and ended up not using so I thought I'd chuck these into the video as well um, some very cool sort of old silver coins but um, I think the best course of action would be to have a quick sort through these in terms of denominations. Well, I've organised them somewhat. We've come up with three variant designs. They're all three pences now. I've had a bit of a closer inspection. Whoopsie. So, these are the most numerous. I believe them all to be 50 percenters as well. These are George V. Which are pretty cool. Uh, these, I believe, are also all George V, just from a quick cursory glance. Again, 50 percenters. Some really nice quality ones. Whoops, come back. I can't get over how thin they are. They're so thin. It's like half the thinness of thickness of a um, five pence that would be on our change now. And then we've got my favorite monarch, George VI. Again, lovely, lovely designs. And then leaving us with the three Victoria ones down the bottom, which I've popped into the video a bit of fun but um, I think what's going to be best is if we do this like their previous world coin hunt I did um, when I was looking through all my world coins I'm gonna arrange them into their years and then I'll get some annotations up to show you the details of them well I have now been through them um, these ones the George the sixth we didn't get too much variety in the years so these are the 1939s Two, three, four of them. I do like this design, it's very cool. Like a cross on a rose. But they're cool. We've got quite a few more from 1938. Quick whiz through them so you can see the different qualities that I got. That's a nice one. The sound of the silver clinking. I'm not going to get tired of that, hearing that for sure. And then the majority of them were 1937s. Again, it's amazing how thin and small and light these are. I'm trying to <laughs> 
separate them is a little bit tricky. Very nice. And I did also get one bit of a shame, really. It's obviously been used as a pendant at some point. Bit of a hole in it. Which kind of sucks. But there we go. Uh, moving a bit further back. These ones we've got the most variety in the years, for, to be fair. So these are George V. These are 1936. I'm going to get one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Thirty pence. <laughs> um, 1935s. Okay, this cool design. Is it like oak leaves and acorns? I thought these were sixpences initially. Just a cursory look at the design. Very cool. Nineteen thirty-fours. That's a bit grabby, isn't it? It's amazing the mixture of different ones to qualities that ended up in this lot. That one is pretty appalling. I did also get one more which had a hole in it from nineteen thirty-four. Another one that's appended. It looks like attempted to drill through this bit as well, maybe. I don't know, but having two uh, necklace strings through it. We got a few 1933s. Obviously, if this was this was the year that the uh, 1933 penny, that's the one that you really want in your penny collection. Although it would be very, very expensive. We're back into 1932 now. And then we finish off this design in 1931. Look how grim that one is. Unbelievable. Whoops, dropped one, see what I mean? They're so teeny tiny, light and thin. So then we move back a little bit further. 1922, again, I think it's George V's. Cool to this cool design. I'm trying to figure out which one is my favourite design. I think it might be this one. 1921. I'm getting more numerous in the quantity we got in the lot from these from this year. And then by far and away the most numerous coin I've got in this lot is the 1920. I've got absolutely tons of these. So I'm a little bit unsure <laughs> what the plan is with these, whether I'll just flip them all up and put them into my collection as they are. But it seems like a little bit redundant to have this many of the same the same coin, not just the same coin but the same years as well. But I guess it's a bit of variety, it's a bit of history. A coin that is a hundred years old now. Very cool. I then had the two the three silver coins that I bought and but didn't use for the uh, eBay challenge with the other coin tubers. This is an 1891 Victoria. We've then got 1885 Victoria again. Hang on, it flips that way. I didn't know that. Quite worn, but pretty neat. And then finally, a fourpence from 1846. Again, Queen Victoria. So what have I learned then? I've learned quite a bit, to be fair. Um, and I'll have learned even more when I'm doing the annotations. I think the way to go is to be a bit more canny with the uh, 
silver purchases. Um, I didn't quite, I wasn't 100% sure on it. I think I kind of, so the one, the big, the big lot I was looking at initially, because I lost out and I felt a bit, mm, a bit annoyed. So I bid, bidded on this one a bit too much, I think. I don't think I've got my value um, in terms of the different coins I've got to the amount of um, duplicates. Is not was not my intention, uh, but I got an idea stuck in my head and thought I'd run with it. Um, but I think they're kind of cool. It's something a bit different for the videos. I think next time I'm gonna, if I'm going to buy a bulk lot of silver, I'm gonna make sure I get more of a variety in what I what I'm buying, uh, because um, obviously these three that I bought individually, I think a little bit more special <laughs> and interesting than the the big lot that I bought. In one go but there we go oh, I totally forgot we will we'll flip over to my new mister page just to see how this um, per these purchases have affected in my collection as uh, could be interesting to see But there we go, do let me know what you thought of this video, it's a, it was a little bit different, a little bit odd, um, not something that I usually would, would do and not something I would probably do on the regular basis because of the, <laughs> the expense of it all, but um, do let me know if you'd like to see something similar in the future, I'm always open to suggestions, but as ever all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching, I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins, bye!